Like every other day in the rainy season, Mexico City security guard Moises Vasquez is struggling to keep his family dry. A typical midday storm is about to strike. He can't just wait it out when his shanty is this flimsy. Rain often finds its way in. Three years ago, he bought a small piece of land in the only place a man of poor means can in this megacity, here in one of the slums that rings the capital. He sees it as an opportunity to finally provide his family with a dignified home of their own. In 10 years, I hope to have built my house here with services, a sewer, water, electricity, basic services, nothing luxurious, but the basics at least. I would be very happy to have achieved that. He has reason to believe that it's possible. 12 years ago, his neighbor Anselmo Garduño lived in a shanty too. Now he has a house for himself and his extended family and he's putting the touches on a family business, a taco shop. In the future, there will be better houses here. Right now, it's still run down. It's places like this where the rural and urban Mexico meet and are transformed by millions of settlers who come here to build their homes, and in doing so, add to the ongoing expansion of what is already one of the world's largest cities. So it'd be very interesting Fake De Jong studies India. slums in Mexico it's and says it's the typical way for the rural poor to move up in the class system. Things. It's a development model. It's uh, not a necessarily a very efficient development model. It's a slow development model, but it is something which raises people from having nothing into having a house on a hillside somewhere, even on the edge of the city, maybe not the best location. But they, after going through the process, they do have a property. Once people achieve that goal, there are still huge problems. They live in unsanitary neighborhoods that flood when the rains come, and politicians often promise them services as a way to get votes. Once in office, though, they often delay projects, perhaps to string voters along in the future. Still, these poor neighborhoods are often the only place a Mexican with little education and little money can come to try and build their dream. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Mexico City. Uh, you can find out much more about the millions of people who live in slums around the world on our website. So we've got reports there from Silicon Valley, from Manila and from Nigeria, where tens of thousands of people are living in a floating slum. Uh, if you put in aljazeera.com slash the slum, you'll find it there and it is most definitely worth checking out. Very interesting, fascinating stuff.